music. It goes beep, boop, bop, and oddly enough, we actually care about these random arrangements of sounds. Sometimes you like it, other times it doesn't suit our taste, and then there are the few instances of where it just makes us ascend into a different plane of existence. Ugh. For anime watchers, music is typically not the first thing we look at. The anime debaters usually look for animation quality, story, character design, literally anything else you can nitpick first before you get to music. But it doesn't change the fact that sound design can make or break a show. Every once in a while, there are these moments in cinema that become mainstream and well remembered and immortalized in their respective communities. And everything associated with that moment becomes immortalized as well. This includes any music going on in the background. Though, what if this worked in reverse? What if a standalone piece of music becomes so popular that other media becomes associated with it? That is why we're not talking about not one, not two, hell, <laughs> not three, but six! Pieces of fiction all at once. Man, I got my work cut out for me squeezing this into a single video. Today, we'll see the art of turning music into their own worlds of themselves. Meet Eve. He is a very popular musician in Japan, and there's a very good chance you are already familiar with some of his songs. As he was a dude behind Chainsaw Man ending number 12, and songs for Josie the Tiger and the Fish, My Hero Academia, Dororo, and very recently Shoshiman. Oh, and uh, while well, in this video, Blue Box came out as well, and Eve does an ending song for that as well. So yeah, add that to the list. And of course, the Jujutsu Kaisen OP that everybody knows. The thing is that whenever Eve posts a music video, they are always incredibly high quality, each with unique character design, story, amazing world building, it's a feast for the eyes in of itself. Outside of being a very good musician, he's also well known for these animated music videos. So much so, that people compare it to the quality of an anime. If you read some of the comments in these videos, you can see that people actually want a full anime based on the music videos he and his team creates. And honestly, I don't blame them. Alright, bet. This man decided to drop a grand total of three different mangas all set within the same universe. From what I can understand, the canonical order for these seemed to be Inoshi no Tabekata, based on one of his hit songs, that then leads into the event of Kara no Kyoko, which also shares the names of one of his songs, that finally leads into Tobito Ryuko, his Chainsaw Man song. So, reasonably so, you might be asking, hey, what are they about? And the most I can say about it is that it's about emotions and the human heart. They seem to be a high school action series with a tiny bit of psychology and philosophy. If I understand things correctly, the timeline is being built way out of order here. The second in canon chronologically has 41 chapters out as of recording this, but the prequel only has 9 chapters out in total. Meanwhile, I can't even find the Raws for Tobito Ryuko which is out right now, but I legitimately can't even find them anywhere. Although that is quite disappointing to hear. There is a completed in order series that is out and you can read it right now. Meet John Nakitori. If you're not familiar with his work already, he composed the EDs for Zom 100 and the detective is already dead. Although that is not what I'm talking about. Instead, look at Shikaba Ness a song he collaborated with Otto on. This was turned into his own manga, from beginning to end. We are promptly introduced to Hinata, a teenager who feels as if he's fell behind on life, feeling frustrated and feeling as if his entire post high school life has been nothing but a punching bag. Hinata successfully enters a suicide pact with a bunch of strangers, thus marks the end of that. Kind of... Unknowingly, suicide is looked at as a taboo-like sin. After being dragged into purgatory, Hinata and the others are forced into a system of trials in order to absolve themselves of that sin 
or to be painstakingly dragged into hell. That is the gist of the story at least so far. Although there is a beginning and end to the story, only the first chapter is translated to English. So I really can't say anything else because I can't read Japanese. But the series is completed and in a two volume set, which you can find online. So if you have the ability to read Japanese, it really isn't hard to find to at least check out. For those who like an edgy series or a death game like shows, this premise seems like a natural fit. Though there is more to say about Shikibakuness, the story doesn't quite end yet. But in order to tell you that, I need to introduce the other artists that worked on this song, Ado. Some of you may know Ado from One Piece from Red or from Spy X Family, but I can personally describe Ado in a single word. She is quite literally my current favorite artist and it's going to take a lot for me to this bunker in my mind. I may not understand music theory or how to compose, but I'm a very harsh critic when it comes to adding songs into my playlist. So I don't mean this lightly when I say the talent this girl possesses is nothing short of generational. She does it all. Literally, listen to any of her songs or covers. Goddess, Usawa, Ready Made, Ibarra, Value, Mirror, Show, Kazari Kanai no Namirawa. I know Akururi is my favorite, but god damn, does a crime and punishment cover comes close with that final verse. Speaking of which, I wish I really could put these songs in a video, but I'm definitely gonna get copyright struck if I did, so I'm not going to. Just, just listen to those songs, please, love God. Speaking of crime and punishment, a light novel was published bearing that same name, Shibakuness, Crime and Punishment. To give context to the series, the original song is based on an old German book of the same name. TLDR, some dude kills two girls, eternitarianism, dude has an existential crisis, oh now he feels guilty of his actions cause actions have consequences, womp womp. Going back to the original song however, it is a spin off based on that tale. But Switching and reversing some of the roles. At least I think if I understand the lyrics right. Finally, how does that relate to the light novel Shibakuness Crime and Punishment? You know, I want to know too. Guess what I'm gonna say? No English translation. Thankfully, I could tell from the Amazon free preview that this is either a sequel, prequel, or a side story since none of the characters look familiar to what we already have been introduced to in the first chapter. Whether it relates to the original manga or story, who knows, definitely not me. But something I can tell you about is today's sponsor, Ray- I'm just kidding, I'm not actually sponsored. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, seriously. Something that I can tell you about is Otto's second endless light novel featuring drawings by the illustrator of Act Age. Listen, Otto is still super young, so it would make sense that she doesn't want her face out there in the open yet. Instead, she created her own avatar, and depending on a song or music video, this persona can change. A boxer, a delinquent, a baseball player, and someone that got the Todoroki treatment. Hey yo, what the fuck? Insert Adeloid. Take all these characters, including Adeloid's original base persona, put them into one place, and there we go. It is basically her creating her own lore and universe for these characters. Bits, bits! You may be asking, you, the curious viewer watching this video of mine, what happened in it? You know the answer already, so let's just say it together now. I don't speak Japanese. Trust me, I'm tired of saying it too. It is moments like these where I regret not learning a second language fluently. This personally would be a perfect Thanos moment to combine me not knowing the language and in fact, a light novel commission can be expensive as fuck, made me sit back down and decide to use those funds to pay my student loans instead. Even more, it is even tough finding any information about the series. Given Ado's personality, a raw somewhere probably exists out there on the internet. But it really doesn't help that Google tries to autocorrect Adoroid to Android every time. Listen. If most of these series are untranslated, what is the damn point of making this video, Mr. YouTuber? Give me hooked on a new series and I can't read two thirds of them. You know what? You know what? I'm not even gonna hold you. Fucking fair. 
Part of the motivation of this video was to put a spotlight on these series, especially Adeloid. Now, is this me being an ultra biased Adel fan? Hmm, maybe? Given how popular some of these songs are, hell, some of these artists. I'm somewhat surprised more people don't know about them. So the main motivation, however, is the potential. Imagine this fictional timeline where a song absolutely takes off into the mainstream. Is it a certified pop? Is there a clip of it that is being used for memes and reposts? Who knows? All that matters is that this song is doing numbers. So well, in fact, that the artist does the unthinkable. They create their own series based on this song. Let's say, is a light novel since it requires less labor due to not having to constantly draw compared to a manga. They announce it, publish it, and why is it doing so well? Little does the artists and authors know, they just struck a gold mine. Time goes on, the artist continues making songs, and a light novel is still relatively popular. Somehow. Sometimes words would collide as a new song is made to help build out the world and the fans become more attached to the songs because of reading them in the light novel. It all slowly builds up into one final point. Do we know how we got here? Absolutely not. But we just went from having a song to a full on anime adaptation. Who, what, when, where, and why? Personally, we don't care, but the fans are eating good. Now, is this a string of incredibly unlikely circumstances and coincidences? Absolutely. There's also a non-zero chance, which is why I am making this video. I believe in and respect the creative art process. Videos, drawing, animation, songs, you name it. But the ability to change the form of a piece of creative work into multiple forms is such a core idea that I really want to see skyrocket. People beg for anime adaptations of their favorite manga, or the light novel to get a good manga adaptation. However, I want to see the limits being defied and broken on what can be adapted to what format. Ideas start small. It can expand into something greater given time. It taps into a potential that has not been even considered yet to check the foundation of the industry by doing something new and unheard of. That is what I want to see. I don't care who the artist is or if I like the music or hell, even if I like the initial premise of the series. It is something that I'll at least give a fair chance. Music can be an expressive art form, and by the end of it, I hope everybody can understand how much there still is to utilize in music. I hope people can come to appreciate the kind of things that can be shown only through listening, and more importantly, I hope people can get the vision that I have in my head that can only be appreciated by doing more than listening with your ears. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This video actually took a lot of research and time and effort to get done, but I managed to do it. And I hope you enjoyed the entire time through watching it. I mean, if you want, if you're hearing me here, you probably did enjoy it. Fuck, what am I talking about? And if luckily you heard, you can, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit for me. You can check out my other anime and manga videos or check out my variety content. This channel is a variety channel, so if there's something other than manga and anime you like, you know, just go ahead, check out some of my other videos. If it doesn't hurt, just give it a watch if you like it. Of course, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'ma go do something else.